All right, welcome everybody to Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Here at Winston-Salem Prep, hosting Wes Stokes for this regular season matchup late in the season. Two rivals. And joining me today, my name is Marcus Shockley with NetCastSports.com, and joining me is James Blackburn. James, what do you expect to see out of these two teams tonight? Well, I mean, I expect to see a great game. I mean, this is a uh, we're in the final week of the regular season now, and uh, West West Stokes is coming in with a lot of expectations this year. They've got three seniors that are going to be counted on very heavily tonight, and. Um, Winston Salem Preps coming in as the defending 1A state champs we got, on their home court. So we got about two minutes to tip off, folks, and then we're gonna we're gonna be tipping off. We might break away a little bit here if they do a national anthem and that sort of thing, but we'll stay with us. So once again, Winston Salem Prep hosting West Stokes in Winston Salem, North Carolina, here at Winston Salem Preparatory Academy. And uh, you know, these, James, let's talk a little bit. We got a little a little bit of time here. These these are our true rivals. Last season. Winston-Salem Prep won the state title at the 1A level. A lot of talent. They had Greg McClinton, who's a Wake Forest commit. This year, Wake and Greg is going to Hargrave. They've still got some of those players from last season, but their one loss on the year last year for Winston-Salem Prep, and, and a great season for Prep, their one loss on the season was to West Stokes in a triple overtime game that James, you and I had a chance to see that game. And uh, that was a barn burner, say least, Frank Spencer Classic. I don't know if we'll see that tonight, but this is a, these two teams don't really like each other very much. <laughs> I think that's to say, easy to say that. They, this is a true rivalry game. This is like Duke and UNC, but on a little bit smaller level. But these guys, they, they want to win this game. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up, Marcus. That was the best game I ever seen in my entire life at the high school level. And I hope we don't go into triple overtime tonight because I might go past my bedtime. Yeah, but. those those were a lot of a lot of last second shots. A lot of uh, you know Josh Spainauer, the uh, the point guard for um, West Stokes. For so, folks, we're going to cut away in just a minute. They're going to they're about to introduce the uh, starting lineups, and then um, and, and we'll we'll be back with you. We're going to leave the sound off for you guys as they uh, introduce the starting lineups and uh, stay with us. Winston-Salem, North Carolina. James and I, you know, we've seen we've seen both of these teams quite a bit. This will be our first game checking them out, playing each other this season. But uh, very familiar with both of the both of the teams. We'll get into but we'll get into some of the star players on this team in just a moment, and out throughout the game. And, and Marcus, I'm really looking forward to the point guard battle tonight between Josh Spainauer and Raquan Harney, yeah, two seniors that are both high scoring and good point guards for the team. They're both the leaders of their respective teams. Two very solid point guards. Uh, Coy Simmons is about to jump off for prep and West Stokes ends up getting the ball right away. West Stokes Preps comes out in a man-to-man -man defense. Zach Harlow with the ball outside, deep shot, no good off the side. Coy Simmons with the rebound. He kicks it up to Mike Hughes, who gives it up to Raekwon Harney. Harney back to Hughes, he gets it down in the corner. And expect both of these teams tonight to come out and vary their defenses throughout the game, and showing you, some zone and some traps. What you're going to see out of Raekwon Harney, number zero, is he is an elite handle. 
an elite elite handler at a, at a national level. So with the Salem Prep with the first tour. A, a great drive there by Hughes. It's a multi-basket player that can get to the rim. Spainauer stops, pulls up over Harney. That shot's no good. Saved, but Harney gets it. He kicks it deep to Lipscomb. That shot's no good, but Lipscomb can hit that shot. That is his shot, Marcus. He'll, he'll shoot that all game. Harney inside to Simmons. That shot's no good, and West Oaks with the rebound. Any offense they get from Simmons tonight is an added bonus for prep. He's mainly a defensive uh, presence and a great rebounder. Big on the guy inside, 6'8", definitely a defensive presence. The biggest guy on Stokes is 6'6", six six, Zach Hartle, the sophomore. He's trying to post up inside right now. West Stokes kicking it around the outside. Feedback, loses the ball. And there we saw some of that defensive presence. But don't forget about Reed Goodson, number 32. He's a senior. He's getting looked at by several Division III programs, Marcus. And Reed Goodson near the line right now, James. He's, he's got a great mid-range game, really skilled power forward that, could, that plays hard the entire time. First shot's no good, so West Oak still hasn't gotten on the board. 6-18 to play. Second shot coming up for Goodson. Off the good of Simmons being a factor early with the rebound up to Hughes and he gets it up to Harney in a hurry. Brent wants to push the ball, but Harney loses the ball. Hartle scoops it up, gets it over to Spainauer. Inside to Goodson, back to Spainauer. And that has Spainauer gets West Stokes' first two points of the night. And that's his shot right there, it's the little mid-range floater, one of the best in the state at the mid-range game. Harney loses it, Spainauer feeds inside, back. Ill-advised shot right there, ill-advised pass, but Goodson is able to corral it. Austin Furr deep outside, goes back inside to Goodson. Goodson up over Simmons, and that's good. That's great uh, showing of patience there and poise by Furr to not force a shot in the wait until Reed Goodson got post position, and he's able to give him the ball so, and get the nice drop step. Stokes up by two early here in the first period. There's a foul on the floor as Lipscomb tries to go up. Now, Aaron Lipscomb, number five for Winston-Salem Prep, is one of the best three-point shooters in the state. Uh, I think he and um, there's one other player perhaps uh, down at Greenfield that may be... Jamie Johnson, Jamie I believe. Johnson that may be just as good or, or better. But I would. it's tough to say both of these guys have a pure three-point stroke. It's consistent. It's not streaky. They're not streaky shooters. There's one thing that Lipscomb brings to the table. He can absolutely flat out shoot that three ball. He does. He's a bit undersized, but he's got a you know a great arc on his shot. And uh, somebody that you definitely have to find in transition if you're a prep yeah, you or if you're a stoke. He'll, he'll burn you. He yeah. absolutely will burn you. And here comes uh, prep out in their patented uh, zone press that they get a lot of turnovers out of. But Spainauer handles it well. Oh! And Austin Furr tries to dunk on uh, dunk on Omar Roseboro, and he's doing a little jawing right there. And and you know we, he is a he's a highly underrated athlete, Marcus. He he gets up a little bit, and people don't realize he gets up. But. So so far, uh, West Oaks hanging in there on the road, tied up four to four with Austin Furr on the line. First shot no good. Five oh five to play here in the first. And and. Those that are watching right now don't expect to see a lot of missed free throws tonight. We, we've seen two already, but both these teams are really good free throw shooting teams. Right when I say that, he misses the second one. Austin Collins with the rebound off to Harney. Harney dribbling on the outside. He gives it up to Lipscomb, back to Harney. Harney going, tries to break off his man, feeds it over the top. And that shot is good by Austin Collins. And this is Salem Prep number 11. And Collins is a kid that's going to come in and play hard. He can hit the three. He can drive to the rim. He does a little bit of everything, Marcus. He's an athletic player. Feet outside to Spain now. Stops. That shot's no good. Goodson tracks it down. Inside over Simmons. Simmons bothers that shot. And Goodson finishes. Yeah, you got to like 
two things there. Simmons is actually being a big factor inside at six foot eight. But Goodson is really battling in there. Stayed with it, got his rebound, and then went back up and got the end one. Well, well Goodson has some, a couple of years on him. Uh, he's got a couple of years on him. He's using that experience against him right now. And Goodson's a kid that can use not only his right hand, but his left hand too. So now we see, uh, we see um, Simmons going to the bench and Greg Howard, who's a, who's a big boost off the bench. He brings a good body in, strong body off the bench to help out inside. Collins outside, sees a gap, dribbles. Stop, pulls up, rattles around, no good. Battle for the rebound, and Zach Hartle, six foot six, Zach Hartle comes up with a kickball. And they have Hartle play in the uh, the power forward position, but he can step out and stroke it from behind the arc as well. There's prep in their uh, in their zone defense in their one three one half court trap that they love to do. So far, West Stokes has handled it pretty well. They've been able to move the ball. To off the side of the backboard, that shot's no good. Hartle is a good shooter, but right now it seems like nerves are getting the better of some of the shooters. Harney with the ball again. That shot's also no good. And I don't know Austin how Collins well. Austin tracks it down. He's going to stop and shoot. Good for Austin Collins. I don't know how much uh, Coach Gould liked that first shot of that possession, but. Bird was the Burr answer. With a big shot outside. Austin Fur. Austin Fur. Keeping it close here, 10 to 9. 3.15 to play. Harney directing traffic. As I said, Harney has an elite handle. You'll see he's a superior ball handler. And he does such a good job of keeping his triple alive, too. He won't pick it up unless he absolutely has to. Yeah, he's a great ball handler. And he's showing some of those moves right there. Oh, he's a great Howard. Howard scores. He just got another assist, something that he, uh, he's one of the tops in the state at the assist. Up to Goodson, up top of the key, elbow, no good. Collins with the rebound, and he's going to take it out. Austin Collins, down inside to Mike Hughes, back up to Collins. He's going to get it back up to Raekwon Harney, he's going to reset the offense. You don't mind those shots at all if you're, uh, Coach from um, Stokes. I mean, they're they're moving the ball well. They're getting good looks. Yeah, Stokes is a little longer than you might expect, especially with uh, Fur, Alston Fur, and uh, Hartle, and Reed Goodson yeah. as well. Six four, six six. And you see Stokes right now. They're they're uh, backing off defensively a little bit, trying to make Prep shoot the ball from the outside. You now you're watching some of that dribbling from Harney. Coach Gould wasn't too happy there. Wanted to take a timeout. Obviously, the play that he was running, they weren't, they weren't running to his perfection or his standard. All right, so we got a timeout on the floor. All right, we're back on the floor. 155 to play, 12 to 9 in favor of Winston Salem Prep over West Stokes. Here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Mike Hughes at the ball right now. That's one of those calls, Marcus, that they referees sometimes make now where the guy gets rid of the ball off the pass. I'm not a big fan of that call myself, but you know, they it is a call in the book, so they call it a charge quite a bit. Al Prep varies up their defense again. Now they're in a 2-3 zone. This is the third defense we've seen already. We're still in the first quarter. Fur tried to go inside, but got trapped on the long park pass to Spainauer. Back to Fur. He goes inside. Grayson Cobb, he loses the ball. He goes out to Austin Collins. Collins is having a very big impact in this first game, getting a lot of hands on a lot of loose balls, a lot of back uh, backdoor shots. Really looking good. Now yeah. to Harney. Over to Hughes. And he comes in, makes an impact. He's an athletic player. Zach Hartle on the move. No call on the inside. Looks like Reed Goodson with the putback. 
Reed Goods has done a great job on the boards here early on the offensive uh, boards. 45 seconds left to go, folks. I think we've, we've uh, got the clock a little bit. Let's have someone step in front of our, front of our camera. So. We've got it back now. 34 seconds left to play. Josh Spanauer with the ball. 12 to 11 in favor of Winston Salem Prep here in Winston Salem, North Carolina. So Stokes looking to maybe work for one here at the end of the clock, end of the first. Inside the Cobb, he gets it back out to Fur. Now Spainauer is calling out instructions to the team. He gets it back over to Austin Fur. Two, the pass too long for Goodson, and that's going to be a backcourt violation. So 7.1 seconds left here, James. Coach Spainauer can't be happy with that possession, turning it over right there. But I like what Prep's doing. They're extending out their zone, kind of like what Syracuse does, where their, their bigs trap on the bottom with their guards. Arnie pushing the ball up quickly across the court. Four seconds left to play. Left and right gets the ball over. To, to Collins, but that's just no good. So that's how we're going to wrap up the first 14 to 11 in favor of Winston Salem Prep. We'll be back right after this. 